Good day from my smartphone to yours. I'm Lovecasting Live from the Serious Joy Garden Studios in Costa Mesa, California. And this is your Thursday Namaste Today. Good day and namaste and welcome to Namaste Today. My name is Christopher Oteki. I am a life coach, a psychic astrologer, and I coin myself the Sensei to Serious Joy. My life purpose is to stand in my heart and help others into theirs. This webisode is for Thursday, November 5th, 2015, and today the Great Human Walk has progressed to Step 13, Scorpio. Now let me just tell you, Step 13, Scorpio is a little superstitious. First of all, Scorpio in itself because it is the dimension between dimensions, it literally is a thin veil this time of year between life and death. That's ghost activity, par uh, paranormal activity. I believe in all that stuff, uh, and I believe that if you don't believe, you won't experience. If you do believe, you will, and <laughs> that's how reality is built. So people don't believe, don't. People do, do. But I think it kind of uh, activity lifts up this time of year. You know, literally, you know, I think Halloween and The Walking Dead, it's not an accident that we celebrate this time of year. And, you know, in pagan times, Halloween, or the full moon, was the new year. That's actually pagan new year. So we technically are starting a new year with this death and rebirth. Well, today, step 13 is a superstitious step because probably in the next 24 hours, there will be a little breakdown and breakthrough in your life. Now, by little, it could be as small as a flat tire that leads to an epiphany about needing new car insurance, or it could be just f thinking that you lost your wallet, <laughs> which is what I usually do. Oh my gosh, I'll like, where's my wallet? Like, I can't tell you, like for a tourist, that is a nightmare. A a every time, and even though you can get new cards and everything, I don't know what it is, it's, it goes in, even in my dreams. But I usually have a little bit of a holy shift and then a, oh, whew, you know, in this next 24 hours. So expect the unexpected, I just wanna say that. But because it's Scorpio, you know, uh, breakdown, breakthrough, and other signs you kind of see coming. In Libra, you can kind of feel it coming. In Pisces, you can kind of sense it coming. But in Scorpio, you can get hit with a brick, <laughs> okay? Like, you can be completely clueless and have no idea. That's because Scorpio is the line. So there's a lot of, you know, abrupt uh, and sometimes shocking truths that come forward during Scorpio because Scorpio really doesn't know gray or any kind of subtlety. It's an on or off kind of injury, uh, energy. So today, injuries too. <laughs> so today, let's talk about with our topic, uh, something to help you through this transition, guilt by association. Now, I mean in that sense, the power of step 13, guilt by association. Really, that's what we're going through. When we talk about boundaries and we talk about step 13, we're really talking about where we belong or where we don't belong, okay? And uh, if you are where you don't belong, you are guilty by association, right? You basically, so if they do anything that you don't agree with, you're brought up with that. You are carried into that. Now, I have struggled with boundaries for a long time, and I've been talking about that this whole month, and one of the misconceptions I had about boundaries was that I was supposed to hold energy up and be able to protect myself from vibrations that I didn't like in the moment, I used to think that I had to have the power to protect myself from certain individuals, whether that person was in an office next to me or that person was in traffic or that person was, you know, just annoying me until I realized uh, that I did not belong in those situations to begin with. My boundary was I was allowing myself to be in situations that I did not belong in. And it turns out the boundary was not the ability to hold this force field, but rather to choose to be there in the first place or not. And that exercises the power of I belong. Do I belong here or not belong here? So I found, you know, I have to say, I don't feel like I belong in most places on earth. Just so you know, like I, quite often I was talking to my sensei over the weekend, like we, you know, we don't feel like we belong in many places. I feel somewhat alone in lots, lots of times. And, um, but the, the truth is, is like, now, if I'm in an energy where I don't feel a symbiotic, easy get along, it doesn't bug me. 
because now my boundary is I don't think I really belong here, so I'm just being polite and courteous. And knowing I don't belong here, putting up that boundary and going, this is, these aren't my people, this isn't what I believe in, um, allows me to not have any anxiety about myself, like having that boundary, like, hey, we, we're just different people. You know, the earth is a big place. It's all good. And with reality, it's designed for us all to have all what we want, right? So we really shouldn't be tolerating something that doesn't feel right. So that brings us to today's, uh, today's five o'clock question. And it's designed to help you understand belonging, especially for a step 13 day, okay? The first question is, what do you think life should be like? All right? And I know that's a broad question, so try to focus it maybe on something like maybe you're having problems with work, maybe you're having problems with your, your, uh, in a relationship with your spouse or with your kid, anywhere you're having problems, well, ask yourself this. What do you think it should be like? What should it be like? where you're having these problems. And the word should here, I mean to say. Okay? Next question. Are you willing to take the space and time to get to where it should be like? Or what it should be like? So are you willing to take the space and time? Now, I'll answer these questions. Sometimes I know these are a little deep and they're hard to understand where I'm coming at. What, what, what do I think life should be like? Well, I'll tell you this. Um, in my own when I was uh, going through a sixth house transit, if you know what astrology, uh, a classic astrology, sixth house is daily lifestyle, I asked this question, what should my life be like? And I decided that my life should be like um, being on vacation every day. I want to feel like that feeling when I was a little kid and we were staying in a hotel, you know, like uh, that life is exciting and fun every day. I want life to feel like that every day. That's what I think life should be like, all right? Am I willing to take the space and time to get there? Yes, I am. And I think that's the whole point. Um... A lot of people, you know, are not clear on what they believe it should be like. They just stay stuck in the where they are, first of all. And I think that's a bit of a boundary issue. I think you, I think that's really a boundary issue. You could call it closed-mindedness, but it's also step 13. It's like, if you know, if you're not happy here, well, where do you think you should be? And if you haven't calculated where you should be and you're not happy here, you got a boundary issue. You don't leave your own gate. You don't think outside your own mind. You're closed-minded. That's the boundary issue, right? And step 13 does uh, reflect that if that's the case, you know? So I think everyone needs to think about, well, where do you belong? What would be right? How should it be, right? And then secondly, are you willing to take the space and time to get there? That's super important. I think in, in the United States, anyways, we live in a convenience-based society and um, people have no, will not take any space or time, which is Scorpio, step zero. People take no step zero uh, in order to get there. If they can't have it immediately, it's not worth it for some reason. And the truth is, is um, you, without step zero, if you study anything that you, if you work with me at all, you know you cannot build or manifest anything without the zero next to that one. Okay? If you do not take the space and time, you will not manifest anything. If the, if the female chicken does not take the space and time to sit on the egg, it will not hatch. Okay, like if the pregnant mother doesn't take the space and time to love the baby, the baby will not feel loved and may not come to term, right? Like so people, you must take space and time and you must be willing to take space and time. So today, if something breaks down, it could be one of the two things, three things that I brought up today. One, it could be that you don't belong there in the first place. It could also be that you haven't thought about the alternative. So this is all God can serve, right? You haven't thought about the way it should be, right? Or it could be a third thing. You know what it should be, but you haven't been willing to take the Scorpio space and time to get there. All right? So without further ado, let's take a little space and time for my guides and you and see what they have to say. Hmm. Okay. So, um, speaking of space and time, basically, here in the next 24 hours, I'm looking at a number of things. For one, um, fear is coming up today in the mind. Mercury's at step five, so today's a very powerful day for the mind, and a lot of it has to do with this step, this step 13. The three is I believe, okay? So, in my little exercise, when I, when I, when I was saying, how, how should it be? Should is the magic word that pulls up a belief. So really, we are being mindful of our beliefs, right? And so in all the examples I gave, it really did re revolve around beliefs. Uh, one, the sense that you believe it should come immediately. Or two, you're closed-minded and only believe you have one option. Or three, you believe the wrong thing. 
You're believing this instead of the way it should be. So really step 13 all deals with a belief issue. And although a belief issue has a lot to do with one's core and one's philosophy and where one comes from, all these things, it's actually housed in the mind. So the mind today is the instrument you use to change your life, the mind. You want to change your mind. And Today, Black Lilith is at step five Libra, and Mercury is at step five Scorpio. So they're both in step five. That means that our mind is uh, full of fear, or let's say very aware of our fears. And if you've watched me in the past, do you know what I think about fear? I think fear is an awesome anchor that you can use to change your life. So if you know you're always afraid of something, great. Hold on to that fear and count on it tomorrow right? So if there are any fears today, great. There's my fear. That means that's my path. There's my fear. That means this is my solution. There's my fear. That means, you know, to me, fear is my own friend. I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? How you doing? Ah, you know, like I like to play with my fear. So there's fear. There's mindful of fear. And what are people afraid of? Well, they're afraid they're going to make the wrong choice. They're afraid they're going to end up wrong. Blah, 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 blah. But the truth is, is like, um, you have lots and lots of options in life. People are going to be choosing having to try out a philosophy. And one of the things that's going to happen after Thanksgiving is people are going to be running with a philosophy. It's very much their winter time, kind of Christmas, daydreaming, thinking. And I would say that probably half of the population will be wrong with what they choose. Wrong. So it's okay. We don't know where, what we want until we know what we don't want. And so you, the, my advice to everybody is, I know we, we all are all afraid of making the wrong choice. I myself have future plans. I don't want to make the wrong choice either. So the way around that is to ask with your heart and follow the little principles here. How should it be? What do you want? What does your belief structure say? That's what you create and write, my friend. The last thing I'll bring up is the moon is in Virgo today, and so emotions are really bumpy. People are feeling every detail, okay, and the moon will cross over Jupiter. So what that means is in the next 24 hours, part of the breakdown breakthrough is that everybody has to kind of stretch a bit. Okay, the moon crossing Jupiter is like everyone's got to stretch, everyone's got to be patient, everyone's got to give, you know, just kind of breathe for a moment because the whole planet is stretching, kind of like a yoga pose the next 24 emotionally. So... Take a deep breath, be, be in your heart, and know where you belong and what you believe in. And if you don't belong there, get the hell out of there because you are guilty by association. All right, my friends. Hey, I forgot to tell people. A lot of people ask. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can navigate to soulgarden.me. If you're watching on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe. If you like to watch on the mothership with no commercials and leave a comment, come on down to soulgarden.tv. And if you'd like to be included in my serious alerts, which come on every now and then, follow me on Twitter at Siwateki. All right, my friends, I will see you tomorrow with your Friday show. I hope you have a fabulous 24 hours. Uh, be good to yourself. Hang in there. Remember you're special, and you always get a second, third, fourth, and fifth chance here in the universe. So just go with what your heart believes. Until tomorrow, remember I love you, and live, love, be.